The killing of George Floyd was a catalyst for protest and unrest nationwide, amplified by the COVID pandemic and a growing frustration of economic disparity. The National Urban League says racial disparities have also grown during this time, calling it a crisis. Their latest report on the state of black America is now out. Brandon Walker is live downtown with a closer look at the findings. Brandon. Yeah, Keith, and a lot of that data precedes the coronavirus, but the National Urban League, as well as leaders here at the Houston Area Urban League, say that you can think of the coronavirus as a, a coefficient or a multiplier attached to each of those individual inequalities, essentially making the experience worse for communities of color. Protesters marching for George Floyd called it the pandemic within a pandemic. Racism, they said, was systemic and during this COVID-19 health crisis, dismantling. When you talk about progress in our communities, you got to be talking about economics. That means I'm, I'm working every day. It means I'm paying my rent on time or I might even have a home and I have a mortgage out. That's Judson Robinson III, president and CEO of the Houston Area Urban League. Today, its mothership, the National Urban League, published its annual State of Black America, an annual data-driven report on inequality facing African Americans and Latinos. Local numbers are included in the research. Every year we have to give them a, what we call a census. So they ask us, you know, what are our results? in the areas of education, housing, workforce, et cetera, all the various areas that we work in. That data combined with chapters nationally is used to create the 2020 Equality Index, a percentage the Urban League figured to gauge how well both African Americans and Hispanics are doing relative to white Americans. But those figures the Urban League underscores were compiled before the coronavirus, which medical officials say has hit the Latino and African American communities hardest. We have to make the kinds of investment in our community to make the kind of change that people are protesting and marching on the street for right this minute. An interesting point from the report looks at the economics from both the black and the Latino communities, and they look at economic gain from 2009 to 2020. But again, told you about that multiplier, the coronavirus, and how officials say that it's worsening some of those experiences. And the concern here is the coronavirus is leading to regressions there in progress that has been made. At 6 o'clock, we'll take a look at that. Also, a trickle-down effect from a social worker who says that all of those different factors affect the medical outlook for these communities, and that is what we're seeing too in terms of the viruses spread within communities of color. For now, we're live downtown. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News. All right, Brandon, thank you.